Well, welcome everybody to episode 61 of Pumpkin Days with Zora at Wahoo Beach. Just in case you're wondering what we're doing already at the library and reading, uh, I forgot to hit record again. And I've discovered that this game, if I start playing it, it won't actually go back to the beginning of the day. So what we've done so far today is we've dumped a bunch of stuff in our shipping crate. We've thrown a bunch of stuff into storage. We've made a hundred soup so that we can eat our soup and maybe get a soup shirt. And now I'm going through the fish that we need to catch uh, so that we can go fishing. We're actually looking at our spring fish, our beach fish at the moment because I've got a mission for a lamprey uh, and a mackerel and a tetra, which we all have in the things. So I'm just seeing what we've got in the museum. Uh, and what we haven't. So basically, uh, sardine, mackerel. Okay, let's just check on sardine because I'm not so sure about that one. Yeah, so we need to catch a sardine. There's not very many beach fish that we need to catch. Uh, okay, mackerel, we've got octopus. I'm pretty sure we have not yet thought. It's kind of a bit obvious. So we need to catch a sardine, an octopus. We just need to catch an oyster. Pretty sure I've got an oyster. Yeah. Uh, sable fish, which we saw a little minute ago, lurking somewhere. There it is. Flounder, we just looked at. Lamprey, monkfish. Pretty sure we've seen that one. Tetra, scallops, scallops. Yep. Sea urchin. Yep. Uh, clam, we saw a minute ago. Seaweed, we've got. Saltwater eel. So what I'm just trying to do is see what I've put, there we go, into the museum. So we basically need two fish off the beach for spring. Ocean could be a bit different. Let's have a look. Sardine we need. Bonito. Oh no, we've got a sardine. Look at that. So that just leaves one fish. I oh know, I hate it when they're not in alpha order. Okay, we do need to get a bonito. Mackerel we've got. Octopus we need to get. Actually, if we can catch the octopus in the in the ocean, sea cucumber. Did we get one of those already? I'm pretty sure we did. It's kind of one of those. No. All right. I thought we had. Or I'm blind, which, you know, is possible. Sablefish, flounder and lamprey. Okay, so we can get the lamprey out in the ocean. We just can't get the mackerel in the ocean. Monkfish, milkfish. Did we get a milkfish? There's our milkfish. That's fine. Scallop, sea urchin, clam, seaweed, blue marlin. Okay. So the blue marlin is the only other thing. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go fishing off the beach. And you'll notice I've got freeze up, so the time is not passing, so we're not losing uh, time. We're going to go fishing Dendrology's trees off the beach and um, catch our mission fish and our octopus and then I think rather than go out to the ocean we might just fish in the lake and then the river next. So we're going to spend a couple of days away. What I'm looking for now is I'm looking for wood. So We've got our brown wood. Okay, we need to go to the, oh, of course, the lucky pine forest for our dark brown wood. Um, we've got our smoky wood. This is for Gemma's quest. Okay, so the peach wood is in the whiskey woods. So whiskey for the peach, lucky pine for the dark brown. And the orange, oh no, hang on. No, Palash for the peach. What? Yes. And I know where that is. Just go at the back of the museum. That'll be fine. Okay. And we've got it anyway. We don't need peach wood. What am I on about? Okay. Orange wood okay. is in the whiskey woods. So whiskey for orange. Lucky pine for dark brown. And the redwood forest for the rosewood. So we're going to try and while we're out fishing, if we're anywhere near any of those places, we're going to go and find uh, Gemma's 
stuff. Let me just grab my journal and put it back where it should be. So this year, we're just going to spend the year filling in our fishing gaps. Uh, maybe, if we have time. Red was like a cane. But, in the meantime, we have some beach fishing to do. I know, wow. Oh, Ruffles, what are you doing? Please don't poop on the library porch. Wow, rude pony. I know, Casey will be unimpressed with us and I'm pretty sure Mike's about to issue us with an infringement notice. Did I not notice a, um, I noticed a thing out here that I wanted to try. I've never fished off this dock before. And I think, I think it counts as a beach dock. Yeah, it's not quite far enough out to be a not, not a beach dock. All right, let us see. We have to catch for our missions. One tetra, two lamprey and one mackerel this is actually a really different view to what you get on the other docks it's kind of cool a sea urchin not what we're after but okay so we're just going to ship all of these fish uh, all of the fish that we don't catch which reminds me there's another experiment i want to try with fish I may have enough money to do it too. And it will hurt because I don't want to do it. <laughs> 46. We're going to ship some fish. Oh, yes. Lisa's mackerel. All right. Now we just need two lamprey and a tetra. A plastic bag, that's right, we've got to go see dirt eventually. I know, I try to avoid seeing dirt, he's a little bit feisty. A milkfish. I know, we're catching everything but... Truffles is just standing there swaying, it's like the ocean's making him dizzy. A sardine, yes. So what we might do is um, go out fishing at the waterfall dock. I think a sable fish, which means we might just catch. I think it might be quicker just to ride the pony straight out there. I think. But today we're just going to fish until we catch an oyster and two lamprey and an oyster, an octopus and two lamprey, hopefully. Or until, you know, 11.30. Actually, I might have to say until 8 o'clock. So I do, I do have um, crops to water as well. We should do that. A saltwater eel. Nice. Uh, I only have a uranium fishing rod. Hmm. I might have to look into fixing that. Unless I've got two meteorite in my thing, I might be able to make one. We need to make a meteorite fishing rod just to make our life a little bit easier. You know, this this is we've nearly got one of each kind of spring fish just straight up. That's kind of funny. lamprey and a tetra oysters are good we can we could turn those into food and i do think i need to send do some cook dishes but we'll do that that'll that'll come once we've once we've um finished what we're doing here another flounder And an old glass bottle.
and a monkfish. <laughs> Is it here? Fishy, fishy, fishy. Those plastic bags sure put up a fight. We're going to have some good recycling. And I haven't, obviously I haven't got the, um, just occasionally, if you do enough errands, you might, if you're very lucky, get a recycling machine for your for yourself that you can put on your property. But that's the only way I know of to get one. So uh, until, we, until we luck out that way, we're going to have to... We're just going to have to go and uh, continue to head out to the dump to recycle our stuff. Hey, what is this? Every fish but. One lamprey. All right, we have one more to go. And a tetra. <laughs> oh, and I'm not watching Zora's food intake. I should be. Salt water eel. Let's um, let's eat some of this soup. Oh, there's our tetra. All right, now we just need one more lamprey. And we can finish. I mean, we also should wait for an octopus. I suppose we might as well wait for an octopus. It's getting late. These plastic bags. What? I got rid of Jounce. Why am I getting plastic bags? Because it's not Jounce's fault. Uh-oh. And a mackerel. And a sable fish. Maybe the octopuses only come out at night. No. They come out all times of day. And clam. Lamprey? No, another mackerel. That's pretty good though. I know this horse's head rocking back and forward and that's that's all I feel like doing is just swaying. It's like, oh no. It's actually I might have to move him out of the shot. He's starting to really disturb me. An old boot. That's not a fish. This might this might be my octopus if I can bring it in. Yes. Alright. Now I just need one more lamprey. Oh, so good. So we now have caught all of the beach spring fish. It just leaves us three fish to catch from the deep ocean. And a lamprey for this order. I'm just trying to get the order done. 
right we won't pick up any more any more bulletin board orders for a little while what we'll do is we'll finish the ones we've got and I think there's only about three left and then we'll work through the friendship quests and then we'll then we'll see what we can do about building up our friendships again which reminds me we haven't had a look to see how we're going with our friendships which is kind of uh, important scallops and we might think about buying a, um, a second property just for our fish tanks because it would be nice to not have to keep running out after our fish uh, so just the fish that we're cooking with so I mean I think that would be mackerel scallops clams I don't know what would happen if I put seaweed in a tank we should try uh, octopus as well because you can make some sushi so we could have like our, our fish fish as well but we just can't can't really fit them on our um, on our property actually what would be funnier is if we had them up at um, at Diamond Falls had Bailey do it because she she liked fish and miss, missed it but um <laughs> I'm getting a lot of flounders. I think flounder is flounder a recipe fish. I'm going to have to go through the recipes and just make a list of the edible fish. Not today though. I know. It's an octopus. They're worth a little bit. ADG. Considering they're the hardest fish to catch, that seems a bit harsh. <laughs> Only ADG, what? We have two. I think we've also finished our quota for the uh, for the season, so that's nice. Seaweed. Someone heard me say sushi. Yeah, we're all good for our um, for our quota. So we just need two. One more lamprey for Dwayne. Dwayne is pain. Okay, his fish is a pain. I know, I was thinking of stopping at 8, but one lamprey to go. We've we got to catch it tonight, right? Yes! Awesome! That's it. That's all we wanted from here. We have our, our museum fish. We have our errand fish. Uh, I think it might be a little bit late even for Dwayne. He's probably heading off to bed now, but we'll we'll have a zip down this way and see if we can drop these off. Otherwise, he's usually DJing. Oh, he is still DJing. That's so good. Let's give him his lampreys. Rosario. There you go. You're welcome. Party. Farming time or partying time? The only response is partying time. I know. Oh, ooh, grape ice cream. We'll ship that to you. What did we have to do? A tetra for... Who wanted the tetra? Ash. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ash is not accessible this time of day. But we'll go and, we'll go and check. He's probably in bed. Um, but we know where he lives. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm lost. Oh, that's right. No, that's not right. Where is Ash? Okay. Wow, I didn't expect him to be... Oh, Ash. So I'm muddling him up with, with the librarian. I know where Ash is. He's out at the graveyard. Because he's a morbid little soul. Let's let's um give Ash his tetra. There you go. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Awesome. You're welcome. Okay. So. 
red sassy shirt. Oh, I wonder who you bought that for. Mike. Mike might be awake. Maybe. We'll, we'll deliver this to Mike as well. Then we don't have to do this in the morning either. And then we're going home to bed because, you know, it's getting late. And we'll be grumpy farmers if we don't. Yeah. Man, I wish I'd remembered this one. Mike. There you Roger. go. You're welcome. Okay. And that just leaves the cat girl. And I'm pretty sure she's in bed this Okay, maybe she's not. We could drop this off to her as well. She's normally like she'll roam around in the uh, in the back paddocks for a bit. There she is, about to head home herself. Hey, Lisa. You're welcome. Whiskers, you're like my new best friend. Let me know if you need any ear scratches. I give those to all my best friends. Oh, I shouldn't be rude and not give something in return. All right, if I tap her again. Yeah. Let me know if you see any ants running around. Yeah, I'm trying to put together an ant farm for Charu for her birthday. Last year, I got her a pet tarantula and she was so happy. She was speechless. So this year, I want to follow it up with more animal friends for her to fall in love with. Oh no, Lisa, what are you thinking? She's just such a happy little bean, Lisa. She really is. I'm not sure she quite gets humans and, and spiders, though. Uh, I'm sorry, Pony. That's right, hop over the anvil. All right, very good. All right, so uh, I should probably just very quickly water my plants. I know, no, you shouldn't, says, says Ebba. You should be you should be in bed, asleep. What are you doing? I'm just watering my plants, honest. <laughs> yes, my middle name is Trouble. What's yours? And I forgot these guys. Thought I had another one in here somewhere. Okay, no. All right, I know. But I've got a couple of trees around the side here as well. I was hoping to be home a little bit sooner, but man, I love this watering can. Okay, now we are going Okay, going to bed. I was thinking what animal pooped in my house, but no, that's just my kitchen. Uh, before we go to bed. Cooking. Brussels sprouts casserole. That was so not worth staying up for. All right, time for this little character to go to sleep. Uh, and then we're going to get into another day. We now have three things for the museum. It is Saturday. Do I need anything from the market? I don't think so. Or maybe some rice. Yes, we definitely need to get some rice. Okay. Uh, we also need to refill our watering can. Harvest our trees. Look after our animals. Water our crops. Because we're farmers and that, that kind of never stops. Uh, but we too now want to nail down our lake fish. That's going to take a fairly full day. I don't think we, we looked after. Let's just do a day of looking after our, our critters first. Make sure they're all happy. Pat. Ho, please don't steal. The, um, the cat food. Ooh, a Tyrannosaurus Rex mid-tail section. Thank you. Static. Chicken cuddles. Chicken brushes. There you go. I know. Just while they're all in one group, it just seems like too good an opportunity to miss. 
There we go, everyone's padded. And brushed, kind of. Did I just... Yes, I brushed Arnold. I'm pretty sure I brushed Hiccup, but I don't think I brushed Mabel. Or padded Mabel. There you go, Mabel. And it was Bill who needed padding. Static. You, if you've already been padded. Yep, okay. Let us put hay in the trough. And we might just shear Arnold. Oh, Arnold's already been sheared. In that case, we'll shear Bill. There you go. All right, that's all done. Oops, did I pat you? Yes, you have been patted and thrown through a wall, apparently. I'm sorry, chicken. I'll just grab static out of the... There we go. Now you're unstuck. How's that? Better? Mabel? Okay. Gold digger. Uh, Kojimu. No, I've already looked after Kojimu. Smokey, I'm pretty sure you have not been padded and brushed today. And the same would go for Buffalo Girl. There you go. Alright, let's just see if we can find any stray animals roaming around up here. And then we might have to look into dealing with our crops. That's Jarrett. I've padded Jarrett. Rhubarb. Yeah, I did not think you had been padded, chicken. Okay. Yep. I need a brush. Let's, uh, I need a, a brush. I need a watering can. There we go. Alright, let's get these done. And we'll get these done. Oops, I missed the next tree. Didn't space myself just right. All right, everyone is now... Oh, tiger. Let's just put the watering can away. I'm pretty sure kitties... Kitties do not like being watered. There you go. Rhubarb. Yes, rhubarb has been has been padded. The sheep have been padded. The piggers have been... Man, it does not take long, does it? Once you, um... Once you skinny down your animals, it does not take all day to look after them. You just have to... Take care of them. There we go. Okay. I need a shovel. Yes, I do. So it's number six. We'll narrow that down. There we go. All right. We're going to shovel all the poop and deposit it where it needs to go in the fertilizer barrel. And then... We are going to go and harvest all our fruit trees without shoveling them. I know, I always get really nervous near our fruit trees because when you first started with this game, before they, they've, they've magicked it now, but you used to be if you had a fruit tree in range of your shovel and you wanted to shovel poop, you would get the poop, but you'd get the tree as well. Kind of like a bonus surprise. All right, uh, let's just fill the cat bowl up again, because I don't know these guys get hungry. Let's put the shovel in. We'll uh, take to our shopping. Oh, he gave me a rock master! What a good little kitty! Because I don't think I've hunted any dragonflies yet. Uh, wait a minute. We want one of these octopi. The octopi at the top is our museum. Octopi truffles, what are you doing? You are not being a helpful pony. No, I'm gonna get off. I'm not here to pat you. Get off my crops. Don't. I know, this is why you should build fences around all your crops. Because your animals are pains in the neck. However, your horse is easy to move. You just get on your horse and ride him off where you want him to not be. Cows, on the other hand, cannot be ridden in this game. I have 
I have hopped on a cow before. I was very lucky it was a docile cow. Apparently they usually object to being ridden. So the farmer said once he stopped freaking out. The look on his face was pretty priceless. Alrighty, let's um, I know, useless bits of information you didn't need to know about me. Let's go with our fruit picker. Nice, peaches. Coconuts. Kojimu, you're not being a helpful piggy. And you know what else? That's something else we have not yet done. We have not um, got a milk machine and uh, turned our cashews and our almonds into milk. Oh, right. Time to eat more soup. Might as well eat three. So this is what I mean. If you're um, going for your soup... Your, your steam achievement for the soup. It's really easy to do. You don't need to just stand there and eat a hundred. You can literally just do your chores with your soup on board and you will get through your soup, your hundred soup in, in not that much time. It, it's just pretty easy to do. Let's just grab our shovel, hold it down for one, click on that, pocket that, grab our fruit picker again, I know, I've never used my fruit picker so much in a game, it's awesome. Alright, stir fruit and hazelnuts. So with your, um, a lot of your cocoa dishes require you to have hazelnuts, so it's generally one of those things you have to store. Oh, watering can. I forgot about this one. Fruit picker, let's go. You know, I might just move that down. Not you, you. Right. Okay, now that we've got that in, in place, we can just roam around like a lunatic and um, gather all of our fruit crops. I know, so much grinding. But so much chocolate. We need to grow some vanilla too, if we can. I just can't remember if it's a Wahoo Beach crop. Pat Pigger. Put the sacks in the thing. Where is my... Where are they? I did think I'd already done it, so I'm not quite sure what's happened to them. I'm probably staring right at them and then, and I'm just not seeing them. That's okay. We will uh, look for them another time. Let us grab our coconuts. I know, I should think about going to the market soon. I should. I'll just, I'll just do a run up this way. We've got some cinnamon and more cinnamon and olives. Uh oh. Okay. I am just going to throw all my food in this shed. I know, and you'll see the results of me just throwing a few things in there from yesterday, but right now we'll just toss all of these in here. I'm going to sort that out. On another day. Just want to look after everything first. There we go. Whoops. Almonds. 
Oh. These will be our clues. Uh, cloves, if you want to know, you just have to gather them in the wild and turn them into seeds. We might just eat something before I pull character into hospital again. There we go. Ow. All right, we are we are now back where we started. Yes. Okay, so there is another row of these. Ooh. Spinips. We're actually just going to turn all of these spinips into seeds simply because they're worth about 50 G a piece. Uh, we can substitute them for turnip and spinach. Uh, there you go. But we want a really huge crop of them to make it where they're well shipping them. So I might just throw those straight into the seed maker. Just collect those. That should give us 50. Which is not a bad, not a bad start to our, our spinip empire. I know, we're not starting a spinip empire, that would be silly. Oops, let's back it up a little bit. Pivot our character just a tad so we can get to three. And here. I know, so much cocoa. We're going to have ourselves a little cocoa spree. Uh, let's grab that. Okay, so we do have one lot of papaya. All right, and I need to get my almond tree out of the box. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's grab that. Actually, we should really get all of these except the flowers out of the box. Let's just see if we can tidy things up a little bit. And then I suppose I should think about, you know, maybe not having... Actually, the stones are supposed to be in here. But all of these should go in the fridge or the crafting thing. That and that. We'll go, we'll go toss those into our refrigerator. So we'll just kind of tidy things up as we go. Hello, truffles. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, yep. Put the cocoa in. Pull the wheat flour out. Close that. That's our pet food. This is our... This is our grindables box okay I didn't bring my grindables over here fine okay we are just going to see how full our fridge is not full enough obviously uh, oysters we want to keep oh, what am I doing I know I did this last time Shh. eggs milk Mushrooms, flour. We needed the flour, that's right. It's a calico plushie. It's very cool. So we've got a ton of food here to eat. Uh, we may go mining just to fix that. And the rum can go in there. That is a golden egg, isn't it? Okay, I'm not putting the golden eggs in there. We're going to put the golden eggs in with the other crafting things. There we go. Along with the wool. Yeah, there we go. All right, what else have I got? Did I see some wallpaper? No, I think I got went nuts and... Oh, no, I did. I left it in the other box. Alrighty. Uh, is that Styracosaurus thingamy something that I need? Yes, so that should be... up here okay anything else no so now we've got five things to go in the museum that's a good start all right that is that uh, I just want to put my gems in the outside well I know this is what happens when you shortcut you you end up having more to do is that ripe and I've just missed it oh my gosh Oranges. We need oranges for some of our alcohol recipes. Well, actually, we need orange juice for some of our alcohol recipes. Alrighty, let's just grab that, grab that. No, the gemstones are going in here. Yes, an unpolished diamond. Awesome. We'll try not to ship this one. There's my poop sacks. 
Right, let's just take these out of here. And I'm about to run out of space again. Fine. Grindables. That's a post grindable, but it's still grindable. We're going to go over this way. I know. Just uh, thinking. I'm just putting. I'm putting the cinnamon sticks straight into the um and the cloves. We're just going to put them straight in. We might as well. We've got plenty in the fridge. They don't need to go in there as well. So that's all done. Now. I know my instinct is just to throw everything in the fridge and to worry about it later, which actually I think I might do. That's not that stupid an idea. Because otherwise we're going to be here forever. Alright. Sort all of that. Oh. Okay, that was a bit daft. Okay. Calico Koshi is worth 150G, but it's also a very cute thing to have in the house. So we could we could put our Calico Koshi on our bed. There we go. Might, might as well grab our daily our daily recipe. No cake. Okay. My chicken just walked through the door. I wondered how they were getting in. Well, rude. Let's just grab our almond tree. Uh, it belongs here. Alright. So that's one less thing to worry about. So I now have a backpack absolutely chock full of food. I really should go mining. We may do that yet. So where's my place? There we go. Oh no, I had plans. I threw them all out the window. Like I normally do. Uh, what we're we doing? We're putting the fruit in the fridge. The feta could probably go in the other fridge. I'm pretty sure I've got some already. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, what time is it? 2024. We've run all our errands. We have harvested all our trees. We've looked after all our animals who are busy eating their heads off and undoing all our labor. Man, man, what are you doing to me? Making sure I can't go anywhere. That's what you're doing. Fine. Did I go? I didn't check the chickens. Oh my, my giddy aunt. I have neglected the chickens. Let us feed the chickens. There we go. Whoa, they have not neglected me, however. Look at all these eggs. I know. <laughs> Zora's there sitting on the eggs. Zora, you're not a chicken. See, and I was worried that that wouldn't be enough chickens to produce a fine amount of eggs. But to be honest, I think they're really they're really producing a lot of eggs quite well. Uh, so we maybe we don't need any more chickens than this. Because I mean, if you don't use the eggs straight up, there's a bunch of them just waiting. Uh, golden eggs, golden eggs can go in. I think it's this cupboard, the crafting cupboard. This seaweed needs to go in the fridge. I know, what have I done? Not put the seaweed away. Do ah, oh, I see, what have we got? Beautiful. Uh, why am I going outside? Because I've got this red top that I need to sell. So we're going to just sell that. It's that purple carpet which we're going to keep because I might want to do matching blankets or... Um, curtains or other things 
as soon as I have the recipe. Is that my chicken? All right, the chicken sculpture can come out of here now. Okay, now I'm pretty sure the cashews can go in a milk in the milk makey thing, but I could be wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them right down the bottom in stuff that can be used for the oil press and the milk machine. I may have to put I'll put one batch of coconuts in the fridge though. So things like coconut cake, because otherwise the uh, kitchen won't pull from it. All right, that's all of that done. Now. Bing bad boom. Oh, let's put these away. All right. Well, I think Zora has had a pretty fruitful. No pun intended. All right, uh, let's put those away. I am going to have to plant all of these. Let's just grab our crafting cupboard. We'll put that away. There we go. Look, I can actually get stuff away. Right. So I think Zora's had a, a fairly fruitful couple of days. We're going to pop her into bed. We didn't end up going out to get our wood, and we need to go out to the lake to get some lake fish, which I think, I think we might save for next episode and in the meantime i think i'm going to put her to bed and she can get some sleep if you've enjoyed this episode please hit like if you'd like to see more please hit subscribe and i'll check you later take care out there